it's playing in the Alphonse Electric. Especially, you've seen it this year when your team's having a little bit more success. The energy in the building, the fans, their commitment. You know, you walk around town in Orono and people are, you know, asking, talking about hockey. They want to talk about how the team's doing, what's going on with the team. And that's really, really special to be in a community where everyone really cares. Because even when we weren't doing well, like two years ago, we still had that same commitment. And a lot of fans, they're still dedicated to the team. My name is Nolan Renwick and I am a hockey player for the University of Maine men's hockey team. Is that what you want? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So I grew up in a small town, I actually grew up on a farm outside of uh, Milestone, Saskatchewan. Uh, that's in Canada. Not a lot of Mainers know where that's from and uh, that's okay, but I love it. Uh, Saskatchewan's my home and I went to a prep school. I played hockey at a prep school in Saskatchewan. It's called Notre Dame. Went there for four years and while I was there, there was another kid on the team that was committed to the University of Maine. So Elfie, another good Western Canadian boy, he, uh, he did most of the recruiting trips in Western Canada and that's kind of, he came and watched our games and we started building a relationship and then he obviously set me on the path to uh, become a black bear and uh, I'm very grateful for that. There's obviously some good things coming in terms of the Alphon Fund and there's going to be a lot of good renovations, but in terms of the program there hasn't been a lot change on the outside, I think it's a lot internally that we've grown a lot. Um, the players, the staff, we've all been on this learning process together and we've all grown in terms of character and who we are as people and you know how hard we work on a daily basis, uh, the energy and attitude that we bring to the rink, um, you know, what we do on a day-to-day -day basis. I think that's the biggest area of growth that we've had. Getting an assistant captain uh, was obviously a huge honor. I think the biggest thing is just being recognized by your teammates that you're a leader. Um, it's obviously really special because those are the guys that you go to work with every day, you go to battle with every day, and to have their respect is uh, something that means a lot to me. I love playing hockey, I love being with my teammates, uh, I love competing. I think that's where it all starts, but uh, obviously there's the uh, aspect of you know playing and competing and winning for your family for your friends, for your teammates, uh, for the state of Maine really. You know, we have an awesome uh, opportunity here where you know, we're the only team in the state and you can see where the support that we get from everyone in the state. It's, it's really special. So just to be able to compete and work for uh, those people, playing in the Alphon in front of all those fans, come on, there's nothing more special than that. Journey North is presented by Pepsi. Pepsi, a proud sponsor of University of Maine Hockey. By the Maine Dairy and Nutrition Council. Nutrition from your neighbor's farm to your family's table. Learn why you should choose Maine Dairy at drinkmainemilk.org. And by University Credit Union, where Black Bears bank. They want to know how do you see you. Open your UCU account today at ucumaine.com. Federally insured by NCUA. It's a snow.
snowy Sunday in Orono, but it'll be a packed house inside Alfond Arena for a Hockey East closeout game for the weekend. It's the Yukon Huskies up against the Maine Black Bears. This is going to be a, a real test for Maine. This is a little bit different team than Maine has seen before. They're going to be very aggressive, they're going to be physical, and Maine is going to have their hands full. Journey North is presented by Pepsi. Pepsi, a proud sponsor of University of Maine Hockey. By Hammond Lumber Company, a fourth generation family owned company with 22 locations across Maine and New Hampshire and over 800 employees. Online at HammondLumber.com. Quirk Hyundai in Bangor. It's your journey. Own every mile in a brand new Hyundai. Visit QuirkHyundaiOfBangor.com today. There's been a lot of people here for a lot of years working um, not only in our athletic department with a hockey program, but as a university uh, to provide the value that we, that we believe we can provide to the state of Maine and we think the people of the state of Maine uh, need and deserve. Uh, we're the only Division I athletic program in the state. Um, growing up as a Maine athletics fan, I, I remember being, myself personally, being a little kid in 1993 uh, looking over the couch, petrified in the third period, and what it, the, the, the lesson it gave me and my friends, and I was a little basketball player back then, was that you can do whatever you want to do as a man. Like nothing's too big, and that sounds a little a little cheesy, but it's true. I just remember us thinking like, we can win a national championship as a man kid. So that pro, this program is so important to the state, and and we put an awful lot into it to 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 get it what it needs to be successful. But, 
I'm gonna introduce Ben, but I'll tell you that we can't do this alone. A lot of you in this room already support us, but I, I don't think there's ever been a more important time to support the main hockey broker. Um, we've got it going a little bit here, mostly because of this guy. Um, we're making some significant investments in the program from a capital standpoint, thanks to the Alphonse family. This is Susan Alphonse. Feel this energy build around our university, our athletic program, take our hockey program, but we need to do it together. So I'll talk to anyone, anywhere. If Jeff Mills doesn't get you first, <laughs> so, enough from me. I want to I want to introduce Ben. Those that don't know Ben, um, Ben comes to us from University of Massachusetts Amherst. He's been all around a little bit as a coach, but the most important piece of his resume that he won't share with you is he recruited. A national championship team at Union College with how many scholarships? Hunts, zero. National championship, national championship at Providence, and national championship at UMass. And we're hoping we're all on our way to a national championship. <laughs> well, I don't have a, a prepared speech or anything like that for tonight. I just, I will say, that I didn't know, coming here I knew what the hockey part of it was, was about, I have been coaching hockey East at other schools in our league, but, uh, been up to Maine, seeing the rake. Um, I've never experienced what, what we've experienced the last, really the last year, um, as far as the, the support and just realizing how important and how much this program means to not, not only our community up in Oregon in the school, but the, the whole state. and. Um, and I, I realize that that's it's not because of anything that we're doing today. That's because of what's happened in the 80s, the 90s, and 2000s, well before us. So um, that that uh, that's not lost on us or our players. Um, hopefully, they show you guys that tomorrow night. Um, but it's uh, it's a truly special place to, to be able to coach. Um, it's, a, it's a special place for our players to play, and um, you know. Right now, like just seeing what's happening on a weekly basis and, and how, how things are changing up in, up in, um, in Orono at the school and, and the Alphon and, and all the improvements that are going in and all the work that June, Seth, Jeff, and, and the president, the chancellor have done. It's, um, it's a lot of fun. And, and uh, you know, I, I want this to be something that is sustainable for the next, for decades. You know, and I've, and I've told, told Jude this a lot, Seth, this, they have to talk to me every day and listen to him. Listen to it. Listen to me. Uh, you know, tell them what we need to do, or what this and that, and, and they're they're fantastic. But it's um it's true. It's not. Uh, there's only, I think, in my opinion, there's one other program in college hockey that that has what we have, as far as just a captive audience of people that care about it. That's what you're trying to build in any college, any business, or any, um, you know, any any college or pro pro um sports team, and that's uh, I think the North. University of North Dakota has it in college hockey. I think we have, you know, and and it's a it's a super special thing that is ten times beyond anything I could have ever imagined. That's the challenge for us, um, you know, as a school, not just the hockey part of it, as a school, and that's what we're trying to do. And because um, you know, I I know our players feel this way, and I feel this way as a coach. This is a place if you're lucky enough, you can stay forever. Mm -hmm. And our players would say that even our players that will go and play in the NHL someday say that to us, you know, and it's, it's that special.
has been an absolute grind, and you guys have found a way to win all three of them. Okay, a lot of things obviously we can get we can clean up when the break comes back, and that's why you guys are going to come back early so we can clean that stuff up so the second half can be better than the first half. Right? Um, how much you guys care about each other? You guys are capable of doing special things. We still have a long ways to go. To come back after getting them scoring two quick ones there, um, that's <coughs> awesome, right? Uh, v man, good job almost in the time. Yeah, Lars. Lars. Um, some guys, obviously Josh, two big ones. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Game puck tonight for me. Uh, he's been fighting it a little bit, and that's a big time goal after we go down two one, Hanny. Uh, way to find a way, boys. Uh, that, was a, that was a tough one, but we found a way to win, and that's what great teams do. So let's go back home, get uh, recuperated, rest up, and come back and do some do something special in your second half. Right? Yeah. Yeah, V, good job. Hanny, good job, but man, Jay yeah. uh, Not our best game, but we found a way to win. Let's have a good break and come back strong. Journey North is presented by Pepsi. Pepsi, a proud sponsor of University of Maine Hockey. By Bangor Savings Bank, where you matter more. Looking for a change for the better? Bangor Savings Bank offers free ATMs worldwide, and their team is ready to help. Stop by Bangor.com to discover more. Bangor Savings Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. By Fisher Plows. For more than 70 years, Fisher has been building snow plows and spreaders for waymakers. Learn more at fisherplows.com. Looks okay, so you know we'll see what that's. I walked on. You know, so we'll kind of go from there. But we have to be able to function as much as it's inconvenient. Whenever we have time, we're not in school. Um, we have to be able to function the next few days so we can get back up to, regardless of what you guys did during break. Like it's not the same as being here today, right? And uh, we have one week basically to get ourselves ready to go. And in reality, we have to be so much better than we were last week. Right? The nice thing is that you guys have put yourself in a position to obviously accomplish some things in the second half. And we can go out and play average like we did the last three games and still win. That's great. You know, I don't think that's going to be good enough for the second half.
<laughs> um, okay, quick breakdown. Massive storm. I mean, actually, truth is, I don't even know what's going on. We just got dressed in the football locker room. Uh, just walked over in the cold. No jersey on. Uh, no skates on. Now we're going to go skate in a 50% lift. I think the ice has been not flooded since our last game, so this could be interesting. Oh,